Good evening, guys. Welcome to Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. Another stupendously sizzling super episode of Life of Apollos coming at you right now. I'll tell you what, guys, it's kind of hard to know where to begin tonight. We have uh, sort of the full gamut represented this evening. Everything from Amelia Hartford uh, talking about something very exciting for her that you probably didn't know about. Uh, Heavy D Sparks and a very mysterious Instagram post. And, and finally, what I believe to be relatively unseen footage from a sort of a Stradman dash cam, uh, pretty crazy stuff. And as always, guys, if you want to help us uh, grow as a channel and hit 300,000 subs, make sure to sub to the channel right now. If you've been a long time lurker, that's okay. Uh, we barely ever do merchandise. We almost never do sponsors. It's nice to have you guys as a sub, and that's really, for the most part, all we ask. But enough about that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. All right, so before we get into any of our stories today, I have to have a, sort of a special word about an experience that I had last year uh, that ended up being one of the most incredible uh, rally experiences of my life. And of course, I'm talking about Long Tail Rally. All right, so some of you guys already know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the same rally I went on last year that had uh, influencers like Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford, uh, so many incredible people, and had to be one of the most chill rallies I think I've ever been on, and I've been on quite a few. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because they've decided to do their second rally this year and some of the locations, I'm a little bit biased here, are gonna be absolutely incredible. And I wanna make sure I let you guys know about it in case you wanna go on the greatest rally experience of your life. So I'm gonna make sure I get all the details right, guys. Uh, it's this June 3rd to 11th. Some of the locations are gonna be visiting San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, Salt Lake City, Vail, Colorado Springs, wink, wink. Maybe we have something special in store. I don't wanna ruin the surprise. Uh, Santa Fe, Sedona, and Scottsdale. Now, uh, if you're at all curious about more details about what's gonna be happening, uh, go over to their Instagram account. We'll have their link in our description below. Um, I cannot talk highly enough about the rally and the organizers, Mike and Jules, just two of the greatest people I've ever met in the automotive community. And I've met just about everybody. And in case you guys are wondering, uh, this is not a paid spot. This is not a sponsorship on my part. Uh, it's literally me talking about how much this rally, long tail rally, meant to me last year and letting you guys know in case you wanna go on it. Go check it out, you'll be happy you did, link in the description below. All right, moving on to our automotive news, guys. I wanna talk about Heavy D Sparks for a second because uh, even though I talked about this video they did a couple days ago, it has gotta be one of the best put together videos I have ever seen. And I'm really talking about like all automotive channels across the board, uh, content that sort of ascends beyond sort of normal automotive content. Uh, the video that I'm talking about is searching an old abandoned mine shaft for the body of Susan Powell, very suspicious. So this is a, a literal 40, four minute video and I can't tell you the last time that I sat down on YouTube and watched a 44 minute video from start to finish. Like I'll skim through stuff every once in a while. It was enthralling. My wife and I watched it. Uh, Megan, the editor, we watched it from start to finish. It is Heavy D Sparks, some of the greatest work they have ever put out in terms of a video. And we got a very interesting Instagram post uh, from Heavy D Sparks uh, on Instagram that's just uh, very interesting if you sort of know what they're looking for in the abandoned mine. All right, so in a nutshell, guys, they're looking for the remains of Susan Powell. And uh, if you watch that video, this picture that I'm showing you right now, where Heavy D Sparks is asking everyone, anyone know what kind of bones these are? Uh, I don't know if that's related. It certainly could be. They are looking for sort of like skeletal remains, uh, most likely of Susan Powell at this point at the bottom of the mine shaft, and we don't have an episode two yet. Is it possible, and I've, I've reached out to Heavy D Sparks. I, he's got a ton of messages, I'm sure, about it. Um, hopefully we'll get something back on that that I can share with you guys, but it's possible that it, from what we're looking at, he might have found the remains of Susan Powell. Uh, if he did, it would be one of the greatest discoveries sort of in that world uh, that I've ever heard of. But do yourself a favor, guys, go watch the video. No, it's not automotive related for the most part. It does have some uh, sort of automotive ties, but it's an incredible piece of filmmaking and really raises the bar for other YouTubers going forward, I think. Next up, guys, uh, potentially big news for Amelia Hartford moving forward, putting this picture up on Instagram just a couple hours ago saying, we're 
working on another audition, excited for any opportunity to put scenes on tape. Aspire not to have more, but to be more, and then asking everyone what character they think she's going to be playing if she gets the role, funny answers only. Now, as you guys know, and I believe Amelia Hartford has talked about many times across her channel, uh, acting is something she's really looking to get into. She would have had her, uh, her most recent Netflix role uh, a couple months ago, that debuting, kind of a fun thing over there if you guys haven't seen it. It appears to be back on the grindstone looking for more acting gigs. Uh, you know, I would imagine that YouTube was probably just a stepping stone for Amelia Hartford moving forward in her acting career, and I'm excited to see sort of what role she's auditioning for. Put it in the comments below if you know more than I do. Next up, guys, uh, some scary sort of dash cam footage was sent to me uh, from a passenger in Stradman's Porsche over the last 24 hours uh, that details what appears to be a near miss of someone sort of pulling out in front of him during an acceleration of said Porsche. Watch this clip here. Work. There you have it guys, a kind of a crazy thing. Uh, there is so much content from automotive YouTubers that never makes it into sort of normal videos. Uh, I believe this was relatively recent. I couldn't say for 100% certainty because it was sent to me by a fan. Obviously a very good thing that Stradman sort of had his eyes on the road and saw that car pulling out in front of his path. Otherwise we would have had a smooshed Porsche and probably a pretty serious wreck. Definitely a close call, uh, but obviously we're happy it turned out the way that it did. It could have been much, much worse. Also, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, guys, brand new video from Stradman taking delivery of a brand new Corvette C8 Z06. Sadly, it's not his. No, we don't get driving time, uh, but it was a cool experience to hear it rev a couple times, uh, sort of on its way out as a press car. Uh, what do you guys think of the new Z06? I think it's an absolute game changer for the supercar world. It sounds incredible. It's monstrously fast, and I can't wait to see what YouTubers, like Stradman says in the video, he's gonna be buying one, uh, is, are gonna be doing with it once they get it. Next up, guys, an absolutely sick race on CarWow's channel, guys. AMG SLS Black Series versus Mustang Shelby GT500 Drag Race. Uh, a closer race than you would think. Obviously, the Black Series, a bit of an older car. GT500, a little bit newer, uh, but man, excellent showing by both cars. Uh, a fantastic sounding race as well. Well, God, the SLS Black Series is one of the most beautiful cars I think I've ever seen. I'm kicking myself for not buying a normal SLS a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, that's that's about all I have to say about that. Go watch the video, you'll enjoy it. Next up guys, uh, I should have mentioned this earlier and I'm sorry that I didn't. TJ Hunt has one of the best series out there if you love Fast and Furious. It's called Building the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Veilside RX-7 Part 4. Um, for me, and I, maybe this is not a popular opinion, Tokyo Drift was one of my favorite Fast and Furious movies, probably because it was the second one that I saw. I kind of saw everything out of order. I saw the first one, then the third one, then the second one, and then obviously everything after that. Uh, if you guys like Tokyo Drift, you're gonna lose your mind watching this series. Uh, hats off to TJ Hunt for just absolutely killing it with this build. And uh, I don't know, just kind of making a really cool thing for fans of the series. And speaking of fantastic vlog content, guys, Protective Film Solutions, brand new video out Azzurro Dino Ferrari SF90 Stradale Project C8 updates. Um, anytime somebody has a fantastic SF90 video, I'm gonna recommend it because it is the craziest car that I've ever had the privilege of driving. It scared me to all get out and uh, Protective Film Solutions is putting a real effort putting fantastic hypercar, uh, upper level supercar content out every single week and are some of the nicest people in the automotive community as well. Get over there, give them some support and uh, yeah, if you have ideas for new videos them, make sure to comment below on their videos as well. Next up guys, a video that I never knew that I wanted until Four Wheel Trader put it out. The video is called, Is a Red Ferrari Really More Expensive? Resale, Red Myth, or Fact? So essentially what he does is he breaks down whether or not having a red Ferrari will give you an advantage over other colors, uh, sort of per model. Fascinating study, uh, something that I would imagine probably extends to other cars beyond. Go check it out guys, really, really cool video and he breaks it down in the way that only four-wheel trader does. Uh, one of the best 
depreciation analyst anywhere on the planet as far as I'm concerned. And our final video today, guys, from Driven Media. Now, I've never talked about Driven Media before, uh, but they sort of burst onto the scene with a bunch of drag race videos and have now sort of transferred into more like general knowledge automotive. So their latest video is why your speedo is lying to you and talks about what you see on your speedometer versus GPS data and sort of what's right and what's wrong. Fascinating study. And I think we're going to see a really big channel over there uh, very, very soon. Link for that video in the description below in case you've never heard of them. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your evening. Have a great weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. That's all I got. Sub to the channel. Bye.